Okay, guys. Um, bit of a vid here today, and uh, this is the uh, Megatech 16. Still waiting on parts. Things are taking forever. Shipping, idiots. You know how it is. Anyways, so a common asked question is, my RC car only starts when I put gas or nitro in the carburetor. Carburetor being right there so basically what someone would mean is open up the throttle sprinkle some fuel in there and then it'll start rev up and die well a few things can cause that uh, these as most people know or some people don't know do not have a fuel pump so uh, if I sound a little funny it's I'm still trying to get over this cold it's driving me nuts anyways so if you have obviously no fuel pump that's why you have exhaust pressure so if you have any sort, let's flip this around so you guys can see better. If you guys have, or anyone, whatever, anyways, so if you have any sort of exhaust leak, it doesn't matter where it is, or your tank seal is not good, or your tank is cracked, or your fuel lines are leaking, um, you're not going to get any fuel pressure. Remember, it needs exhaust pressure to build fuel pressure. Uh, so if there's any sort of leak anywhere, um, it won't prime, or to prime, most of you know you stick your thumb over the exhaust and you turn the engine over. That'll pressurize the tank and send fuel to the engine. Now, if that's not happening, um, like I said, check for leaks. Make sure this barb here isn't plugged. Make sure the one that goes to your top of your tank isn't plugged. Uh, most tanks have a filter stone. You can check that. Uh, one thing you can do is if it's clogged is take like a big syringe, fill it with denatured alcohol or even nitro fuel, and uh, back feed through it. To, uh, to knock any of the crud off of it. If your tank is plugged up, obviously, like I said, you're gonna have issues. Uh, other things that can cause that to happen would be if your low speed needle is set too lean, like all the way turned in, that will basically plug the uh, little orifice inside the carburetor and it won't receive any fuel at low speed or idle. Uh, a clogged high speed needle, or if your high speed needle is set too far, like set too lean, like turned all the way in, you won't get any fuel either. Um, if your high-speed needle is plugged, which is obviously located, not for crying out loud, right, right there, that's your high-speed. So if your high-speed needle is plugged, I'll show you how to fix that. This goes the same with all engines, it doesn't matter. So what you can do is start by turning it in, like half turns or full turns, like figure out how many turns it was in. This one I think goes three turns, three and a half. So what we'll do... So I'll take this guy off. Um, if this is loose, like finger tight, it just spins. That will cause a lot of grief. So you got to make sure it's tight. Not obviously too tight because you don't want to strip it. And you want to make sure this little fitting here isn't gummed up with uh, old fuel or oil or uh, varnish. And what you could do is take your can of brake parts cleaner, stick the straw in here, and then blow through it to see and make sure you have uh, flow. So you can take your high-speed needle. Oh, you don't need to remove the low-speed needle to clean it, uh, as no fuel actually passes through it. Let's see here. There you go. So there's your high-speed needle. That's what it looks like removed from its uh, casing. And as you can see, there's an O-ring on there. You want to make sure that O-ring's not torn or cracked or missing, or hard as a rock, because if it is, you will wind up with issues. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay, so we have the high speed needle body itself. Now, I don't know if this is. I'm, phone, I'm filming with a new phone actually. I just got it from my neighbor uh, as a birthday present. Um, it's a Galaxy S9, which is actually pretty nice compared to my old phone. So you can see there's a hole in the center, and there's a hole right there. Now, if that hole is plugged, or that one is, and you can't blow any air through here, a carb clean or anything, you're not going to get any fuel. Uh, next thing you could do, like I said, take this apart, clean it, put a dab of after run oil or just castor oil or, you know, even just engine oil on the threads and on that little O-ring so it doesn't go back and dry. Next thing you could do is remove your carburetor, take your can of brake clean, non-chlorinated, that's important, and uh, blow the uh, uh, carb cleaner brake clean through here, brake clean preferably non-chlorinated, like I said, carb clean can eat the uh, rubber parts. And you guys should see the brake clean squirt out inside the carburetor. Now, if you can pass that liquid through there easily, you're pretty much good to go. 
and uh, obviously just reassemble. Make sure you note all the direction of how your parts went. Um, obviously, most of you have phones, I'm sure. So take pictures of things, note how everything went together, how many turns your screws were in and out. Uh, people ask me, oh, what's the base setting for my engine? What's the factory setting for this engine? Honestly, guys, I have no idea what the factory setting is for any engine. Um, with engines like this, I basically just flush the high speed, flush the low speed. You know, maybe less than one millimeter idle gap. And that's usually close enough to get them to run, and then I could dial it in from there. So, like I said, uh, I don't know what the factory settings are for any engines. I just kind of flush, flush, and then tune from there. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps some of you guys that are having issues, why it won't prime, why it won't get any fuel to the engine, why it only starts if you put fuel in the carburetor, uh, stuff like that. So anyways, hopefully that sheds a little light on it for you guys and, uh, keep burning nitro and, uh, thanks for watching.